Here are the top three essential mask transitions that you as an editor need to learn immediately. If you're ready, let's get right into them. How's it going on guys? Starting by the first one in which we created a transition using an object in the video itself. So for this task, we need the object in the video to kind of cover the whole screen for a moment. Now move the playhead to where the object is covering the whole screen. Head to the effect control panel and click on this rectangle mask icon right here. Check this button to invert the mask and move it out of the footage for now. In the effect control panel, set a keyframe for mask path. Move one frame forward using the right arrow key on your keyboard and click on the mask itself to select it and place it where the transition is gonna happen. Just click on these blue points, stretch the mask and make sure that you place it exactly where the second footage is gonna be located. Again, you gotta move one frame forward and repeat the same process until you cover the whole screen with this mask. Keep adjusting it frame by frame and carefully place it over the transition spot. Now our object is no longer visible so we can adjust this mask to cover the whole screen and get ready to add the second footage. Before that, you need to head back to the start where the transition is gonna happen and add your second footage over there. To make this transition look more natural and cinematic, you can add a little bit further to your mask to kind of soften the edges of your mask so it will look better. You can repeat the same process for this tree right here as well. And this is how you do the white mask transition in Premiere Pro. Moving to our second transition which is called the door mask transition and it's as easy to do as the first one and you can make a lot of use out of it in your videos. So here we got a footage of a door opening loop and we want to place our second footage exactly where the door opens. So in the effect control panel, again click on the rectangle mask icon, invert it, set a keyframe for mask path, use the right arrow key to move one frame forward and select the mask, adjust it over the open part of the door. Now you gotta repeat the same process, move one frame forward and resize your mask until it covers the whole screen as we did in the first transition. Once you're done, you can add your second clip, go to where exactly the mask starts and place your footage over there. As I mentioned earlier, you can add a little bit mask feather to make the transition look softer and more natural. This will take us to the third and final transition which is by far one of the most useful and popular ones called the zoom mask transition. For this part, we need an object that's kinda stable and doesn't move too much. I wanna do it with a camera lens, you can use many other objects like a drawer, an eye and many things. Just make sure that it doesn't move too much. So this time, we click on the ellipse mask icon right here, invert it and adjust it inside where the transition is gonna happen. Again, you gotta move frame by frame forward and make sure that your mask doesn't go up off and change position. I'm sure you guys have already mastered this part. Now we can add our second footage to the timeline. Start playing the video to see where you want the transition to happen. In my case, it will be right here. Select your upper footage and set a keyframe for its scale and position. Hold alt on your keyboard and duplicate them. Right click and select ease in to make the transformation smoother. As you are on the second keyframes, increase the scale to the point that the second footage covers the whole screen and change its position if needed. Now you can play with the keyframes to get the best results. 
If you guys found this video helpful, please drop a like and join our family. I will answer all your questions and requests in the comment section. So feel free to share your ideas and stay tuned for weekly tutorials on Premiere Pro, Photoshop and the After Effects. See you all later.